Hello, Mini Makers. Welcome to our July Mini Maker Box. We're excited about this one. Um, so in this box, you're going to have a travel Connect Four game. Um, you're going to put it together. So we're going to paint this and I'm going to show you all how it is assembled, but it's really cool. I've already got my little pieces on a piece of tape so that I can paint them. Um, but we'll see how it how we can play it at the very end, okay? It's gonna be awesome. Such a cool thing for kids to have and travel with or play with at home. Um, and then we have a bag for it to go in and your little stencil that's gonna go on there that says Travel Connect 4. Fun, right? Yay. All right, so We'll go ahead and get started. In your package, you're gonna have six different paint colors to choose from. You're gonna have your sponges. Um, I like to go ahead and have a paper towel out, my sponges, and some baby wipes. Those are great to have to get off the littles fingers um, or even our adult fingers. And then if you have some tape, it's a great thing to use um, to put your pieces down. That way you can hold onto the tape versus trying to hold on to the piece and getting your fingerprints all in them. Uh, it seems to be more successful that way. And then you'll have a bag that will have all of your pieces in it already. Okay, so your bag will have those pieces in it. And then these are all the pieces that you'll need to assemble your Connect Four game. Okay, so we'll paint those individually. All right, okay. So I'm gonna use white sponges for this. I think that's gonna be the easiest way to paint this, all right? So I have picked this beautiful color here, the dark teal. And I'm just gonna take my white sponge and dip it into the paint. Scrape some of that off and then unload a little bit on the paper towel. And then just bring it here and pop, 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 pop. Okay, if you swipe this on, it tends to make the sponge break down some. So hopping really is the best, easiest method for this. Okay, so there's a whole lot of hopping to do because you'll do both sides of it. So these are finished, so now I'm just gonna put them to the side and let them dry. Pretty, pretty. So I got both sides painted. Put these to the side. They're going to dry really well. And I went ahead and put these um, on some tape just to make it a little bit easier. So you should have, these are the pieces that will make the Connect Four game go together, okay? So you should have seven of the smaller ones, one long one here, and then two sides. Um, I'm wanting to stay with my teal theme, so I'm going to choose to mix a little bit of white paint in to my teal. So just remember that you all can do that with any of the colors and create your own color, okay? So I'm just going to mix that up here. And I'm going to flip my paper towel and grab a clean sponge. And then I'm going to dip and scrape and then unload a little bit on this paper towel and then come here and hop that on, okay? So you really can have fun with your colors, mixing them. Make any color you want. Okay, so I'm gonna paint all these and I'll flip it on the other side and paint that side. And then we'll let these dry for a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now we're ready to put our Connect Four together. All right, so the ends that have just these little spaces in there go on the top. 
and then the ones that have the larger ones go on the bottom, okay? So, top, top. And now, we will do these one at a time. Oops. You won't want to use too much paint because if you use too much paint, these aren't going to slide in easily. And even at that, you might have to use a little bit of sandpaper to sand it down some just in case. So there will be sandpaper in your, um, in your little bag of supplies. So if you need to, you can always sand the little edge here. Okay, that's why it's, it's really important that a little bit of paint goes a long way because if we use too much paint, it's not gonna fit into these little grooves. Okay, that can be a little tricky. So just push it in there and then you'll want to do all of them the same exact way. So you see how they're going in there, okay? So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put the rest of mine in. There, it goes much better once you sand it a little bit. Sand it down first, just on those little ends. Okay, so once you get all those pieces on there, then you're just gonna lay the other piece on top match it make sure that these little ones are on top where it's just the one little space and then the one that has more spaces goes on the bottom and then you're just going to lay it on there and you're going to snap it in to place okay Sure they're on there good some of them you have to use a little extra pressure uh, you don't want to do too much because you don't want to break it but a little bit's not going to hurt it okay make sure they're popped in there good let's look at the bottom okay that's all in there and then now we're going to put this piece on the bottom Where's my sandpaper? I'm gonna sand it a little bit. And then this is going to lay down here. Make sure you have the right side. And then it'll pop in there, okay? Some of those are a little tight too, and that's okay. Just play with it until you can get it in there. Almost there. Okay, now it's all in there. Okay, we're almost ready to play. So now we want to put our edges in. I am going to sand just my very edge right here just a little bit. Because I'm finding that even with just a little bit of paint, it's needing to be sanded. Just a little bit, okay? And 
Are we having fun? Okay. So now you're gonna do the same thing. Match up the pieces here, pop them in there. If you can't get that to go on the first time, flip it over. I, I feel like there is a right side, a correct side to that. Um, so just flip it the other way and try that and then try popping it on there, okay? And sometimes you really just gotta play with it. You know, once wood gets wet, it changes a little bit. But a little bit of paint really does go a long way. Okay, so now that's on there. So we are including glue in here um, so that you have the option to glue this together. Um, but honestly, you could leave it like this unglued and then you can take it apart. Either way, it's going to fit into your bag. Okay, so you can leave it together and it's going to fit in here really nicely. Or you can take it apart. Totally up to you. And now I'm going to paint my pieces here. So I am choosing purple and pink for these. So I'll use the pink first. So we'll do one side and then I'm gonna flip them all and do the other, okay? And you'll wanna do both sides the same color. And now my pieces are dry. I think these guys are gonna to need to be sanded a little bit too. Okay, so while they're still on the, the tape, I would go ahead and sand those a little bit. Okay, and then it goes down in there easily. So just take the sandpaper sand over it just a bit. The key to this project is a little bit of paint goes a really long way. If we get too much paint on these, there's no way that this um, game is going to work. 